Hello there, my name is Richard from Silent Peak and today I'm going to show you how to fix your blurry photographs. Now if you're like me, you've probably taken many photographs and a portion of those were blurry. And also like me, you probably went ahead and deleted them. Well that was a mistake because we can fix a blurry photograph and we can fix it pretty easily. So this is Sharpen AI and I'm going to show you how to fix your blurred photos in less than 30 seconds. So starting from the top, I'm gonna to close this image and I'm gonna load it again and show you precisely what I did. And there we go. So precisely what I did was not an awful lot to be honest. Now we could bail out there and you've sharpened your photo and it took much less than 30 seconds. However, you can often get even better results if you're prepared to do a little bit of manual tweaking. So on the automatic mode, Sharpen AI will assess your image and automatically sharpen it based on what it perceives to be the best option. However, I've found quite often I can do better myself. So by clicking off the automatic mode, we can select between the 10 different AI models. So we can see here 10 models and sort of separated into four groups. So we have standard motion blur, out of focus and too soft. And simply by tagging your way through these different AI models, uh, Sharpen AI will respond, re-render the image, and you can see whether or not that you like the result. In that case, we've got an improvement, but I still prefer motion blur, very blurry. Now, if you don't really feel like going through each one, every one, every time, what we can do is we can go to a four-way split view comparison. This gives us the facility to um, look at four different AI models simultaneously. And, um, and when you find the very best one that you want, we can simply click on it and that becomes our model of choice. And motion blur normal is looking good. And yeah, I think I still prefer motion blur, very blurry. You also have the facility to automatically fine tune the image. So this is pretty straightforward stuff. We have model parameters here. We have a slider here for remove blur. So I'm gonna dial that up a little bit just to see what it looks like. It looks good, maybe a little bit strong, so we can dial it back a little bit. And we've got the noise suppression. So this is a rather clean image, but I'll dial it up just to show you what happens. And, and there's not really much to see. We also have a facility to do selective sharpening. So for example, if we wanted to sharpen the eyes, we can get our brush out, manually brush over the eye and apply sharpening just to that area. But that's very much a very separate video. It's a little bit boring and you probably don't want to watch me do that. Now the best thing is, is if you're still not sure whether you'd like to try this, you should because you can try it for free. Now there's a link in the description below and in exchange for your email address, they will let you try Sharpen AI free for as long as you want. Now this is great because you get to test it on your own photo. So it's all well me showing you one of my photos and how well it responds. But what you really want to know is whether or not Sharpen AI can help you fix your blurry photos. And you can, and it's gonna cost you nothing. Anyway, hope you found that useful. If you did, please subscribe to my uh, channel. I've got plenty of other secret tips I can show you, and it costs you nothing to learn. But otherwise, have a great day. Bye-bye.